I was surprised just as much as everybody else really, you know, it was, um, it was actually Rick from Underworld who was working with Danny Boyle, he was kind of in charge of curating all the music that was used in the opening ceremony and he just got in contact and he wanted to use blank mass and fuck buttons as well and they were used multiple times throughout the ceremony. Obviously when he mentions that there was a chance that the blank mass was going to be used with the London Symphony Orchestra, then I was, yeah, I was, I was sold. It was pretty amazing. I think it translated really well into that kind of into that kind of situation. Um, yeah, it was you know it was an honour. Really. Well, I think the way it was translated by the London Symphony Orchestra is the way that I kind of envisage these tracks anyway, especially from the first record. Just I don't have the capabilities. I don't have a, a street like you know I don't have a full string section at my disposal. So I think the way it translated was really nice. You know, to to me it was quite an honest translation the stems were handed over and then it was kind of put together in musical form so the LSO could read it afterwards and they you know they sheet read everything I was in the studio when they were doing it, it took them three goes bang done <laughs> so that was quite amazing to see I actually went to Abbey Road when they were recording it and you know it was it was quite quite a big moment for me yeah. Hot Buttons we went on tour with Mogwai and We've been friends for years, so it, it seemed like you know when I, I, I didn't even expect that I was going to be putting that first record out. I just gave it to a bunch of friends, and obviously when Stuart from Mogwai suggested that he wanted to put it out on Rock Action, I thought, well, this makes sense. So yeah, let's do this. And this the new one, White Math Polymorph. I'd been speaking Dan again is a is a good friend, you know. Um, there's Dan and Joel and. We'd been speaking about doing a, a record together in some capacity for a long time, and they both really seemed to be into both white math and polymorph tracks. So yeah, we just decided to go to go with that. Majority of a lot of the new blank math stuff I've been writing is like the, the texture. The textures are quite different. There's a lot. There are there is kind of beat driven elements there, um, and I think software is a, a really great home for it. That I, it wasn't like a conscious decision to try and start to make dance music or something more beat driven, but I just just the nature of um, the um, the instrumentation that I've been using is it, you know it, it changes a lot. You know, I, I, I bought a, a Supernova too, which is primarily with the the two tracks White Muff and Polymorph. Are pretty much all of all of the textures on there are from this, so it came more from. And experimenting with this with this new piece of kit I'd used, and just so happens that there were some pr pretty strong beat sounds that I wanted to kind of utilise in that. So they got used, and then the tracks sound how they do. Well, the, the, they're two separate entities anyway. I mean, Fuck Buttons has been busy, but it's not been as busy as Blank Mass has in the public eye, just because we've been writing and recording. Um, and we've just been doing that, you know, on our own. Um, so that is still busy, and you know, something will be happening soon enough for that. But obviously, blank mass has been what people have, have seen happening. I treat them both with the with the, the same kind of importance. But I mean, blank mass is something that I do strictly on my own. Fuck buttons is what I do with Andy, and that's the only difference really between the two you know I, mean, I like to keep myself busy and you know when the times when fuck buttons isn't busy blank masses and vice versa but I mean there's it's, it's it's kind of always busy <laughs> I'm, I'm always writing there's a there's a there's a backlog of blank mass material that probably won't see the light of day for for a little while but there's 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 that that's that's constantly happening obviously as I just mentioned there's the fuck buttons record as well which is um, it's getting there and then there's live shows. I mean, I have, I have a few live shows coming up. I'm heading out to New York in September to play the ATP. And um, there's, there's a few more festival shows. I'm in Amsterdam in a few weeks. And then Fuck Buttons again. We're off to Australia in November. We have like plenty of festival appearances coming up. I'm off next week. Um, so yeah, so just more of that really.